you can get out at any time. Yeah, for sure. Um, and, and beyond that, just like, what do you see from their offense? Well, okay. All right, really? Yeah. They're real fast tempo. So we're not really going to underestimate them on that. Is it good for you guys to get back in the Coliseum this week? Oh yeah, real well. You know, it's, it's good to it's a good feeling to be back home. Yeah, for sure. Um, what kind of edge does that bring to you guys? You know, it's been kind of tail of two seasons based off of how we around this year. Being home is just you know, so it's a good feeling. It feels comfortable. You know, I mean, we try to feel comfortable everywhere else, but when we're home, that's where it's really home. I'm not sure if you've been asked. What was your final takeaway from the game after Notre Dame? After Notre Dame, I just felt like we came up short. You know, we missed a few things, and we could have came out and won if we could have uh, executed on those. Was it something they were doing that was causing the poor execution, or was it more on our side? It was more on our side. It, it was us not fitting gaps, making tackles, and it's just on us. Does it help with the communication? Like where exactly are you guys having the, I don't want to say the same issues, but the same issues on the edge? It's just kind of like, you know, sometimes we get outside and we try to come under and he just leaks out and we have to run to get it. <clears throat> On the Arizona offensive line, are you familiar with any of these guys? Donovan, you know, uh, we play for, uh, yes sir, we play for uh, Inland Empire Ducks together. And JJ, you okay. know, we played uh, for Corn Centennial together as well. Have you spoken to them yet? Not yet. Okay. I will talk to them though. Okay. Yes sir. Um, <clears throat> Do you see any of the same challenges? Are they going to present some of the same challenges you've seen from other mobile quarterbacks? Oh yeah, of course. Because you know they have the they have the the ability to create space with their feet. So I mean, we just have to keep them contained. So for you, is it more of keeping your eyes in the right spot, or is it just more gap integrity? Just more gap integrity and staying in our gap and having our gap and everybody else feeling it coming out from ours. <laughs> Have you seen a quarterback like Khalil, what, what he can do running the ball? Do you feel like he compares to anyone, or is this going to be a step I feel up like he's him? just like the Utah quarterback. You know, they got the same type of running style, you know, just like a backyard athlete, you know. He can make space with what he does. Uh, and then, uh, as a defense, you may, you may have already hit them. What's the key against them? It feels like the numbers they put up, you know, in the, in the pass and the run, and, and being that Definitely, kind of the biggest focus. definitely keeping our rush lanes. You know, keeping gap integrity as well. And just keeping them inside the pocket. And I feel like that'd be good. That right. seems like it's that, been yeah, a focus. Be great kinda, for us. It seems like it's been a focus kind of every week. Yes, sir. Is there something where just for play to play, it's it's tough to keep that in mind? And what kind of causes the the breakdown? When it I think it's just the athletes on the other side. You know, they they just have the ability to make the play. So I mean, we can't do anything about that. Is it tough for you to stay in your lane because you're so athletic? Because you can sometimes make plays that sometimes you have to realize you can't try to do too much? Uh, sometimes, I mean, I, I rush really aggressive. Sometimes the quarterback, he'll, he'll come up and I'll just come around and he'll just come out and leak out. But, I mean, we just have to play physical on the edge and gap him in and 